Hello good people. How are you all doing today? I hope you are doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am also doing good. My name is Masi and I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you will be able to get notified. And for our returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate. Let us continue subscribing and we grow to a bigger family. Now, in today's video, I want us to look at this particular story we are given by the Telegraph. So allow me read it to you very fast, this particular piece that was written by Telegraph, so that you get to know what I am going to talk about. So Telegraph actually wrote this. A series of charities founded by the king when he was the Prince of Wales, including his flagship Prince Trust, have been renamed to reflect his accession. The Prince Trust will become the King's Trust and the Prince of Wales Charitable Fund will become King Charles III Charitable Fund and the Prince Foundation will be renamed the King's Foundation. So the rebranding was done in part to draw a distinction between the King and his son, the new Prince of Wales. So the new Prince of Wales in this case is William, you all know. So there is sometimes confusion about whose organization they are. So a palace source admitted that. So that is the main reason why they were rebranding that particular organizations so prince william has his own foundation and so the name change makes it clear that these are organization affiliated with the king the renaming comes despite the charities insisting last september that they will retain their original names john booth chairman of the prince trust said at the time there were no plans for a rebrand, noting that the organization had built a reputation. Under the name, had developed a strong record over 46 years. It is a full intention to continue this vital work under the name of Prince Charles, he said. Sources said the decision had not been taken lightly but was the result of several months of discreet consultation. Although the king was consulted, it was ultimately a decision made by directors and trustees of various organizations. This has been under consideration for some time, one said. There have been months of polling and consultation, as well as due diligence around risk and opportunity. Ultimately, Everyone is very happy. The changes mark a new chapter which happens to coincide with the king's birthday. The king once spoke of his hope his two sons would take over Prince Trust, which he set up to his £7,400 Navy severance pay in the year 1976. But both have since gone their own ways and the switch in name means that he will be keeping his charity after well as the two other organizations, family under his wing, despite, despite the demands of his role as a king. So basically this story is all about King Charles renaming his charities because his sons refused to take them on. And first of all, why am I talking about this particular story? It is because the sons of Charles, yes, I agree, it is William and Harry. But you know, Charles at no point should even mention Harry's name. Because once Harry left UK for California, actually he left everything and he do not have any desire about inheriting whatever Charles have. So... This renaming actually is claimed that the big reason is because the sons have refused to take them on. So, you know, first of all, 
Harry will not be interested in such kind. But for William, who is supposed to take on the programs or rather the organizations, William himself is so lazy, you know. He will never be able to run such organization. So we are told this organization was started by Charles when he was Prince of Wales. And now that he has been crowned to be the king, the Prince of Wales was supposed to take over these particular organizations. But as I have said, William is too lazy to carry on this work. He will not be able to handle because, first of all, the number of promises that William has for people, beginning from the homelessness, you know, he has never done anything about it. So basically, he will not be able to run such organization, this charitable organization that Charles is talking about. William will not be in a position to run them. And actually, this has been a minor drama for more than a year. Right now, it's almost, okay, actually it is past a year. This drama has been there. And you know, I do not want them to associate the failure to Harry because Harry himself is out of this family, you know. If he was there, if these people would not have done him wrong, I know Harry would be the best person to take over these organizations because we have seen his own charitable organizations, including the actual foundation, are doing magic. You have seen the way they are doing the best. So if he was there, I know he could run it best. But for William, he is not able. And now I do not want Charles to blame Harry in this. I just want him to be so straightforward that William has refused to take over this. So kindly, I am always here defending Harry in whatever the case. I cannot allow them to say Harry has refused this. And yet, there is no chance for Harry to take over the organizations. And so basically, that is all I heard because I just found this story and I felt like it is not supposed to be written the two sons of Charles. Not unless they find someone else to refer as a son of Charles. Kindly allow Harry to do his own work. You have seen the way he is doing work outside there and he is doing great. So I do not want any connection to Charles talking about Harry in any negative way. Okay, they are used to saying so. They always use Harry. But you know, my people, I know by now you are so much aware that Harry can work best in that field, but it's only that his interest is changed and the royal family did Harry the worst and Harry cannot just come here, take on the, the charitable organizations that Charles had. This is the role of William, but William is too lazy. So that is basically the message of this video. My people up to this particular point, Allow me to end this particular video and kindly stay tuned for the next one. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, goodbye, stay safe and thank you for watching up to the end. Goodbye.